Hey, today we're going to show you how to give an IM or intramuscular injection in a bearded dragon. So the doctor has sent you home with injections. Um, typically these injections you are going to give, um, you'll look at the label and see how often. A lot of times they're actually will have you freeze the injection until right before use. So if that's the case, you wanna make sure that you get it out and thaw it completely. So when it's in the freezer, we pull them back and um, because they'll expand the liquid. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you thaw it, that you um, go back and forth and up and down with it to make sure that there are no ice chips or anything like that and it's completely thawed. And then depending on the size of your bearded dragon, we will have a specific amount in the syringe already um, that'll be gauged just for your pet. Um, this is Puff specifically. He's only going to get a really tiny, tiny amount. Um, and then I made sure there were no air bubbles. You can just kind of do that. And then I got it to very, very tip. And on the label, it'll say what the amount is in the syringe. And we can go over everything like that with you. And then how often? Typically, a lot of these injections are every 72 hours or three days, but it can it can vary. Now, it does take two people typically to do um, injections in a bearded dragon. Um, we do front legs only, so they are wiggly. That's normal. So we do front legs only, and we alternate legs so they don't get sore. We go in between the scale, so you're not going to go directly into a scale. Their muscles are usually... The, the bone, you'll fill the bone and on each side and kind of like usually towards the back part, the kind of meaty part, that's the muscle. And you're just gonna go a little bit in with the needle into there and I'm gonna show you how you do it. So if you, we're gonna go ahead and wrap him up a little bit because he's anxious to get, <laughs> to get away. And then, yep, and then she's gonna go ahead and hold his head because sometimes they will get upset or defensive because we're, we're poking them with the needle and they will try to do a little nip. So I feel for the meaty part right there. So the bone's kind of straight in the middle. And then I'm gonna go in between those scales. So I will take that and I have no air in it. And this right here, bevel side up, which means like the, the slanted part, it's like up and down like that. And then when I'm going to inject in, I'm not gonna go slow, I'm gonna go just a normal pace. I'm gonna pull back and make sure there's no blood. And then I'm gonna give the injection. So, directly in, pull back, no blood, push. And then I use my finger, kind of a little bit of blood can come out. Afterwards, that's normal. So if you were to pull back and get blood, then you wanna take your injection out and just relocate to a different area. And he did so good for that injection. And then the next injection that you give, you wanna go on the other leg. But we only do the front legs and the reptiles, not the back legs. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks, bye.